I'm Eric Lang, one of the early Kickstarter backers for PicoBrew, and very thrilled to have my new Zymatic delivered to my door. Excited to unbox it, so let's take this apart and see what's inside. Ingredients for Party Porter. That's good because darks are my favorite. Looks like we've got some grains. Additives, roasted barley, I assume that makes it dark, and crystal. This is for when I get cold at night. <laughs> no, no. Scuba out there. There you go. Little baskets. Yep. Hops cages. Washes there. Should be a snug fit and then you press it all the way back. There you go. It's uh, extreme. All right. Okay. Recipe. So if you go into community, look okay. at There it is. It's a reporter. Clean and rinse. If we just go through the rinse program. Is it aluminum? That is stainless steel. Um, we'll do a lot to make it like this. You're running a cleaning <laughs> program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's me? Yep. Welcome to the how to video. Hi, to Eddie. Use Zymatic and Pico Brew your first beer. The point of mixing your grains before the mash water hits is so the sugars will distribute evenly with the mash water. And it just runs through and cleans this stuff up. Yeah, if you have two little buckets, clean water, put this one in the clean water one, put this one in the waste water, the empty bucket to start with. And just clear water. Yep, so if we rinse this out and load up your ingredients, I think you'd be ready to brew. There you go. Yeah. I'm really excited to have my Pico Brew Zymata. I've been waiting a long time. I've been wanting to make my uh, Yeti clone, and now I have all the parts to do it. I'm really amazed that uh, something that to me is a you know, fairly complex procedure is, is really simple when Annie explains it, and I look at all the parts. This is something I can definitely do without too much trouble. Uh, looks like the cleanup is pretty simple. Keeping it maintained and working is uh, much, much easier than the last time I did this with boiling vats of liquid. So um, this looks very doable for me, and I can't wait to get started.